Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a pen mail video and a rather big <laughs> pen mail video from solely from Pen BBS. Uh, all courtesy of their eBay shop, uh, eBay, not eBay, Etsy shop. Um, so, what's so special about this? Well, first off, I've got seven pens to show you. They took about nine weeks to arrive from China in the UK. And I, I ordered these pens way, way, way back in, I think it was probably February, maybe January time. And yeah, the, these pens took a long time to arrive. Reason being is because 2020, well, if you can't figure out what the problem was in 2020, then you probably weren't... Um, anywhere on this planet but here we go I've got seven pens some of which are interesting some of which are unusual one of which I is it's a finish of um, uh, in the acrylic that I've never seen before and also I have in this stack of pens here uh, the pen BBS 492 special edition which is the year of the rat and to be honest, that was my main reason for purchasing all these different pens. Uh, the, year of the, the Year of the Rat, special edition pen. Um, quite honestly, I wanted something to remember this year by, positively. And be it right or wrong, I decided, you know what, Chinese fountain pens, I've been buying them, using them, loving them for a long time. And it would almost be... Um, sort of wrong of me not to buy the year of the rat to try to remember this year as something that well hopefully we'll all forget about in some time in i don't know i don't know don't know the logic behind it but it just felt important for me to have something that reminded me of 2020 the year of the rat so let's go through the pens um oh no no idea what's in each particular box other than trying to figure out what the writing is on the sides which is all in chinese so <clears throat> let's see what we've got so pen bbs they all come in these pen bbs cardboard boxes which i actually quite like i think they're quite um, quite decent boxes so now, those of you who follow my channel, watch my videos, will know <clears throat> excuse me, exactly how much I love the Pen BBS 308. It's a wonderful pen. And this is the 308 in summer. This is the summer finish. And to be absolutely honest, I wasn't expecting this to be sh so chatoyant. It really is very 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 attractive acrylic so pen bbs 308 in summer haven't got a pen bbs 308 like this so nice one for my collection of 308s very very nice very attractive um color and a lot of these pen bbs acrylics are available in other models so head over to the Etsy shop and um, and see what uh, see what takes you fancy if you like these sort of uh, colours and materials. So 308 in summer, nice nice pen. Right, I'll stick these back in the boxes as I go because otherwise I'll end up in a complete mess. Right, next pen. Oh, ah, ballpoint adapter. This is a fountain pen, but it has come with an adapter. Let me just, um, just uh, go into the section. This feels nice and cool. So this is the um, Pen BBS. I'll just try and get this right. 323. Pen BBS 323. Should have been able to tell that just some, simply from the shape. I like the 323. I find it's a very ergonomic fountain pen. 
I have a review already of the uh, Pen BBS 323 in the Kryptonite finish, which is an acrylic. This one is an aluminium one. This is the uh, 109 Mocha finish. And I think that looks quite, uh, quite classy. Very, let me just move that out of the way. Very ergonomic pen, nice section, really nicely shaped section. Obviously it's a metal section, it's not acrylic, so I know some people don't like metal sections, but that's quite nice. Um, it doesn't feel particularly slippery, and I love this sort of shape up here, the way it just fits into your hand. Pen doesn't post. I will do full reviews of these pens in due course, so uh, please do hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified of when they go live. But yeah, Pen BBS 323 in the Mocha finish, which is number 109. Nice, nice pen. Nice to see that that also came with the ballpoint adapter, should you wish to... Uh, convert it into a devil stick. Right, what's next? I'll do this one next. This is a bit like Christmas all over again, isn't it? Which one shall I open now? So, same generic box. Another 308, 308. So, Pen BBS 308, 308 in. Oh, this is a cloud finish. So, this is a. Um, it's actually a nicely chatoyant. So, we've got. I'll just talk about the material for a moment. I don't want to dwell on the 308 uh, because I will do rev reviews of these pens. This one has a uh, rounded medium nib which I look forward to using. I like those uh, RM or rounded medium nibs that Pen BBS produce. I find them usually very good writers straight out of the box. So this material, um, basically it's a white, opaque background. There is some transparency in here, just a little bit. So these, these aren't black lines. Um, it's uh, is transparency, so that's swirled into the uh, into the opaque material. And the opaque material has chatoyancy, not a huge amount, but there's enough to make it rather interesting. So it's not just a um, plain milky white fountain pen with black swirls in, like you see some from some of the uh, Chinese pen manufacturers. This is a really nice acrylic, very very nice looking pen. As always with the uh, 308, fits perfectly well in my hand and this nice rounded medium nib, which is almost certainly going to be a pleasure to write with. So yeah, really good pens. The um, These all do come with oh, twisty twisty, they all come with converters, the good quality converters that come with pen BBS pens. And as you can tell, it took quite a few turns to unscrew the barrel. And there is a nice silicone um, uh, O-ring on there. So these pens can be eyedropped. They are designed to be written with as either a cartridge converter type pen or as an eyedropper, which is a nice option. As you can see, there's, yeah quite a lot of uh, turns on that so this will make a very effective seal. I am noticing some uh, residual grease on here on my fingers so all of these pens will get a good clean flush out before I ink them up. So that's the um, Pen BBS 308 in cloud with a rounded, rounded medium nib. The cloud uh, acrylic, this cloud acrylic uh, is number 43, by the way. I know sometimes the uh, the model naming conventions don't always mean a lot, but there is an, a naming convention uh, to that using the numbered system. I'm going to open this one next. Never seen a pen BBS pen like this. 
Art of Ink Writing Paper. So I've got PenBBS, PenBBS.com, there is Chinese Writing, Art of, yeah, nothing else. Established 2005, PenBBS. So let's have a look what this one contains. Ooh, it's a plastic box inside the cardboard sleeve. Nothing actually on the box. The box opens easily. We have another ballpoint adapter, so you can choose to use that. Now this is another well, no, not another. <laughs> I know that there is another one of these in this order. This is an aluminium fountain pen. So we have got here the Pen BBS 350, 350. It's the uh, aluminium 100. And that's the colour. And this nice, I'd say it's almost a sort of rose gold colour, pale rose gold. Uh, it's called Autumn Wind. So unscrew this. That is a very nice pen. Very nice pen indeed. The cap does post. It's pretty good. A little bit back heavy. A little bit of a ridge there on the cap, which is not quite to my liking, but fortunately it's a good length anyway, and um, I prefer to write with my pens unposted. So that's nice. And metal section. That is quite a matte metal section. That is not slippery at all. I think even... I mean, I just mentioned I had a bit of machining grease or something on my fingers there. Um, yeah, seriously, that that section is not slippery at all. Um, and it's all very well made. I mean, this, got the converter as always. The threads on this, yeah, that feels really, really well turned. Nice pen, nice attractive material. Um, well, uh, well made. Throughout, so we've got pen BBS written on the uh, stamped on the cap, engraved on the cap. Plastic on metal threads to the uh, cap. So yeah, nice pen. I like that. I like it a lot. It's unlike anything else that I actually have in my collection at the moment. Um, ow, damn it. <laughs> These boxes bite. Um, I will state that uh, recently Namisu, manufacturer in the UK, had a um, selection of their prototype, i.e. sort of part damaged, if you like, fountain pens for sale, at hugely discounted prices. And I was very tempted to buy one of their pens. But I did realise that, um, in fact, I have... This Pen BBS 350, um, which quite honestly looks very much the same. And I thought, you know what, I'm not spending that sort of money, the same sort of money, even discounted, um, on another pen of the same design. And now I'm looking at these boxes, I think I'm beginning to uh, determine what might be in this next box here. So I'm guessing... It will be another Pen BBS 350. These boxes are an absolute nightmare. To, oh, there is a thing here. There we go. Make life a little bit easier. Oh, come on. There we go. Coax it out of its hiding place. So, there we go. Another Pen BBS 350. Aluminium fountain pen. Comes with ballpoint converter again. Oh, a bit tight. I wonder why Pen BBS chose to uh, have these in different boxes. It just seems a bit unusual. So this is the Pen BBS 350 350 aluminium fountain pen in the vermilion finish. This is number 85. Nice looking pen. A little bit loose there, just tighten that up. Very, very attractive. Nice metal pen. 
It's got weight to it, but not stupidly heavy. Posting, yeah, sort of posts. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan of posting that. But this will be very nice. These, um, uh, this pen comes with a fine nib. This is a model I got with a fine, fine nib. nib. Uh, the Autumn Wind, the version, not the Autumn Wind, the, oh, what am I saying? The previous pen. Uh, that was a rounded medium nib, but this one's a fine. So, right, keep your fingers clear. We're almost there at the main event. So, this next one, now I know what this is, judging by my list here. So This is the uh, Pen BBS 308, so another one for my collection. And this is an acrylic that I haven't actually noticed before, and I don't think there are many of these available. So what we've got, I'll try and use a white background, show it off a bit better, there we go. So this is the Pen BBS 308 in, let me just refer to my notes because I will make a mess of this name, Manjusaka, M-A-N-J-U-S-A-K-A. Manjusaka, and wow, that's really quite unusual. I thought it would be like this when I looked at the uh, picture on the uh, Etsy listing for this pen. Nice to see that the section matches, that's always good, really like that. So this is basically a transparent, clear, colourless um, acrylic that's got red... Red swirls, I mean they are solid red swirls all, through, all the way through. It's almost sort of tessellated. It's nice to see that the cap is the same and everything. I mean it, it's, it's verging on a demonstrator pen, but it's got this solid colour to it. That is a really, really nice, attractive acrylic. Really, really interesting. So... I'm really not sure what sort of ink to put in that because normally red pens, red inks. Um, but this one, this 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 is going to be a challenge to uh, to decide what uh, what ink goes in here. I'm thinking almost certainly a black. But let's see what happens when it comes round to uh, to doing the pen review. So that's the Pen BBS 308 Manju Sarka with a fine nib. So that's uh, that's a bit bit interesting. So, as I said, the main event, 2020. Way back in January 2020, I was thinking, you know what, I quite like 1920s stuff, Art Deco, Art Nouveau, that era, slightly later, admittedly, Art Deco. But Art Nouveau in the 20s, 20s culture and everything, post, well, following the Great War, you know, the world was celebrating. And to be honest, I thought 2020 would be the start of a new decade, the 20s, just 100 years later. And it's kind of all gone a bit wrong. However, to remember this, I have got the Pen BBS 492 Year of the Rat. And this is a very heavy box. Happy New Year. Blimey, if only we knew what was coming. To be honest, some some nations did. Um, I'm not going to get into that now, but wow, big big box. So slide off the cover. Right, which way? Here we go. Pen BBS. It's a cardboard box, but wow, sizable. So let's open this up. So so commemorate this there is a ink bottle with the rat there nice solid ink bottle very well made very very solid thing let's open this up mm, not not thinking that that uh, inner thing will be future proof if you know what I mean but you know if I've got some ink that I feel like decanting in there i will this uh mother of pearl inlay 
is rather nice. That is, you know, it's, it, it's, it's made this pen somewhat special. It's elevated it. And quite honestly, the price of this pen is something that I would never have known. If, if this was not a 2020 special edition year of the rat, I would not have bought this pen at the price. Um, it is a lot more expensive than I would be comfortable paying for a Chinese fountain pen. So, I've got some writing on there so here we are this is the pen bbs 492 and now i know a lot of people have already reviewed this pen to death uh they bought the um this pen from taobao taobao however it's pronounced the uh the chinese e-commerce e-auction selling site um and I just couldn't be bothered going through the whole process. So I waited until this was listed on the Pen BBS official Etsy shop. And when I saw this, and it just happened to be at the right time before everything kicked off and went pear-shaped, um, so I ordered it. And it's a very, very nice pen. Um, just unscrewing it. I mean, to be absolutely honest, the main thing about this pen is the magnetic filling system. So I haven't read the well, I haven't read the instructions about how that works, but um, oh, there's got to be some way of doing this. How do you do it? Anyway, it's a magnetic filling system, which I'm completely failing to demonstrate here. should have taken more notice of uh, the reviews. I know Doug Rathburn did a really good review of this in the beginning. Um, there we go. Right, okay, so it was, it was just a bit stiff. So there is a point where you need to get this on, the, um, on this magnet. So the cap, this end of the cap is a magnet which clips onto the side there. I'm going to draw this up so you can see. There is no piston inside here. It is merely magnetic, um, well, magnetic bit inside some metal with a, uh, I don't know, piston head and an O-ring. There's an O-ring down here as well. And you simply move this up and down the barrel to slide that magnet so it's, it's, it's an interesting novel fill, filling system <clears throat> the pen itself first impressions i may not even review this pen i may forewarn you i might just keep this as mint in box just because it's not often that i would stump up this sort of uh, money on a chinese fountain pen and other reviewers literally have reviewed this already so I would recommend, and this sounds strange for my own channel, but I would recommend that you look up the uh, Pen BBS 492 review to see if you're really interested in that, because it isn't something that I'm overly keen on inking up. Um, and to be honest, I'm not 100% sold on the, the actual design. I mean, we've got this... Um, remember the... Um, Oh, the, which one is it? The Autumn Wind, the aluminium Pen BBS 350 that I mentioned. It's basically the same material, the same matte finish, a little bit rough. If you don't like touching terracotta and blackboards, ugh, you're not going to like this very much. Um, so, yeah. As it stands, I was expecting a slightly bigger pen. Um, maybe half a centimetre, a centimetre longer, but anyway, it's still nice, I'm not, I'm not knocking the pen, and I may well just give in and ink this up and try it, and if I do, then I will review it, and on the clip, on the clip, on the nib, you can see the rat emblem as well, nothing else really going on, uh, what's up here, I'm trying to figure out what that is there who knows 
don't know. Your eyesight may be better than mine. And this ridged thing, we've got pen BBS down here, and I believe that just about make out, maybe says 2020. So it is the year of the rat. And I will point out that this metal cap band here, the acrylic inside, that is, um, yeah. So it is acrylic on acrylic. It's not threading metal onto acrylic, which is good. <laughs> That's always good. So there we go. There's the Pen BBS 492, the year of the rat, 2020. Interesting, very, very interesting. Um, don't even know if there are any other things inside here. It's a big enough box. No, strangely enough, absolutely no instructions whatsoever. So, very strange, but there we go. No, nothing on the back there. So, pop these back. I do like that inkwell. So, very interesting. Slide this all back together. So, that concludes the rather, in my mind anyway, rather impressive Pen BBS 2020 pen haul. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts. I will be inking all these pens up with the exception, perhaps, I don't know yet, I'm still undecided, of this particular uh, model. Um, and let me know what you think, what, which pens you find attractive, which ones, I mean, you might find that the pen BBS 350s are ugly as sin, in which case, let me know. But um, I quite like... Uh, quite like this lot and I will be doing reviews in due course so please do uh, do hit subscribe give it a like and uh, and then I've got some idea about whether this is going to be an appealing um, set of uh, pen reviews for you or not so thanks very much for watching and I shall see you next time bye <laughs>